Hey YouTube, this is a quick video on how to fix a Bose Wave Radio acoustic, acoustic wave radio. Anyways, it's the larger wave radio. I made several versions of this. This is the first version. And these have a notorious problem with the disc player. Uh, and what ends up happening is it, it clicks. It, it just sits there and click, 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 click. Uh, or it just won't even respond at all. And what I found to be the problem is uh, a resistor that needs adjusted in here. So what we'll do is first take the disc out and then we're going to remove this top unit. Uh, Bose made this kind of a uh, modular type system. So this base, the, the bottom side and the front plastic is part of the base unit. And then this top portion here is all of your uh, electronics, circuit boards and such. Uh, I've already removed this, so I'm just gonna quickly go over what it takes to remove it. And these uh, doohickeys, uh, the handles on either side, uh, I've pulled these and it's easiest if they're pulled and they're really easy to pull out. They just pop. These just need um, pushed, pushed down uh, and then out. Okay, so they come out. You want them out. Can't stress that enough. Okay, so after you get the two screws here, and then there's a screw in the middle and a screw over here, once those are out, the top unit just pulls away from the base. And then there are two uh, cords that you need to pull, and you can just yank them. They don't have a clip that holds them in place. They do pop, but it's more like a lobe that they're popping on okay once you have that done and you'll see this is an older unit i think this is from 91 i believe but all of the foam is deteriorated okay so to get uh into the cd compartment which this is the piece that you're after right here you're going to um unscrew only uh five screws Okay, so there's a screw right here. I'm on the back side. So if this is laying down and you're working on it here, you're gonna unscrew this one, this one, this one, which is a silver one, and then this one over here. So these three are black and this one is silver. And then there's going to be one in the front and there's this little, uh, looks like a perfect spot for your finger where a screw goes in down here. All right, those are the only screws you need to remove. Now, I've been pulling this and testing it, inter inter uh, incrementally testing it as I've been adjusting the uh, resistor, the resistance. Uh, okay, so I'll, all I've been doing is putting this one screw back in to hold it in place. All right, once I remove this one screw, I'm going to pop uh, some pins or the, some holder pins in here. So they're designed to just pop off, okay? And let me show you the design of these. They're kind of a little spring, they're under tension. And so that's how they look. And this is what you're gonna push against. Uh, so you're just gonna pull it up like so. Set those to the side. All right, this, the first time you pull this apart, it's going to feel like you're uh, gonna break it. And you might, but be careful. Don't break any of these ribbons. Just pull up ever so lightly, and it should just kind of weasel right out. All right, when you take this apart, there's going to be one stray part that's gonna want to come loose from uh, your CD cover. Uh, door, your lid, door, hood, whatever you call it. Uh, you wanna make sure that if you, don't lose that, you want that. Uh, and it's kind of a, a little challenging to put back together because of that, because you wanna make sure, there, mine just fell. Um, keep track of that thing, you want it. And then once you have the board out, uh, you're going to want to remove this section here and all you're going to do is pull back on this pin right here and Raise it again. Be careful with the ribbons 
you're going to raise it and pull it out and over now i need both hands to do this so you're going to get to watch it from afar all right now that that's out let's get a little bit closer here all right lower the gopro here Hopefully that's close enough. So now this piece here is actually free. It's just floating in here. Um, it's not tied down with anything. Now you want to make sure that you don't push on any of this. There's gearing in here uh, and the gearing is uh, really, really, because of the age of these, these are really bitter. Uh, <laughs> brittle they're not bitter <laughs> they're brittle uh so anyways uh fine uh flathead screwdriver will do and if you have a multimeter that's what you want you want to set it to ohms and you're going to want to uh bridge the top part here and the bottom part here and you'll see that the multimeter is going to start reading and I have 1.2, 1.12 on mine. Now online, I've seen it uh, that folks want you to have that at 1.3. This one did not work at 1.3. Let me get you a little closer to what I'm talking about here as far as bridging. Okay, so this piece right here, I'm gonna try and weasel this piece right there. Nope, that still didn't get far enough. Um, let me see if I can. This is really hard with a GoPro. Okay, so you're gonna bridge that right there with the other side right there, okay? And then this is the adjustment that you're gonna make. Now, I have, I'm filming this, Mr. Shaky here. I'm filming this because I wanna adjust it down just a tad bit more. Okay, so you'll see I was adjusting it just ever so slightly uh, mine when I first opened this up it was all the way cranked down um, quite a bit not all the way down down but when I did the first read it was sitting at uh, 73 uh, read 0.73 on here so 73 not 73 would have fried it so we were at one point one two so now we're at 1.07 which um, I got it to finally work at 1.12, and that's a good thing, right? You know, if it starts firing up, I'm not gonna argue with it. <clears throat> and this is the fifth time I've opened this, so um, you do, unfortunately, while you're troubleshooting it and testing, uh, you do have to disassemble and reassemble it. All right, so we're going to uh, set this up now this one to get it back in I have not been able to do this real smooth uh, any of the times and I worry that I'm gonna rip that ribbon out of there um, so let's see here get a better angle on this there we go and then I don't push down on the circuit board I actually move this back up and then let it come back down and let that clip back into place all right I'm gonna put the top back on Again, making sure that the uh, gear is seated in its uh, appropriate place. And then putting it back in is just a matter of taking an angle like so, making sure that everything is getting into its uh, proper position here. And that's it. All right, so... Um, we are going to only put one screw in again. All right. And I like to uh, counterclockwise until I hear the pop of the screw because I don't like to, because uh, this is plastic that the first time they put these in here, they're, they're kind of setting the uh, threads. You don't want to reset the threads. It just makes it weak over time. So I try and roll it backwards so I can feel where that thread started. And then um, getting these back in is challenging because you're trying to get them behind these lines. All right. And you can't flip them over. Oh my goodness. You know what? This is 
been the first time that I've had real significant issues with this um, because I started the filming. That's what happened. Okay, there's that one. And let's get this one. Now, when I put this together uh, and fire it up for the first time, uh, each time, I do not put it all the way back together. Oh, yeah, and the first time that you do that, it's going to... It's gonna sound awful. It does. It's not doing it again. But you might have heard that on the GoPro. <clears throat> okay. So putting this back into place again, it's just gonna pop, and this one will go pop. Okay. And then you can just set it like so, and set it in there good enough that it's not gonna get unstable. Plug it back in, and let's see what happens on start this up okay oh it says no disc oh maybe it didn't see right nope it says no disc so 1.07 is too low so I'll have to go back up again I had it at 112 and it was working so the magic number might be 115 I don't know. Uh, some of these, uh, the one that I watched the gal do, uh, 130 was perfect, and it fired right up. This one at 112 was working. I uh, lowered it a little bit more just because I don't want to fry the uh, eye here. So I hope this video helped. If you're looking to tear one of these down and you do have that click, 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 um, there's your solution. Have fun.